If you go on to enjoy the video, do me a favour and hit that like button. It really does help out the channel a lot. And through Team of the Season, we are going to be doing a hell of a lot of player reviews. And of course, if you need any coins to get you through Team of the Season, head over to u7buy.com. Through Team of the Season, they are doing a pretty big promotion. 15% off when you use the code TVM at checkout. The link is in the description. What is going on guys, TVM here. Welcome back to a brand new video and a player that of course isn't in packs anymore. It is a team of the season from La Liga. Is it because I'm slacking or is it because there's something special about this card? Probably the first one. But 88 rated Kunde, not too expensive considering uh, that this card once upon a time would have been classed as one of the most meta defenders in the game. I mean, to be fair, he still might be. Uh, but the 84 road to the final that I, I think I still have actually in my club. Maybe I gave him up in an SBC recently because I packed this one. I'm not sure. Either way, that card has been used God knows how many times. I still come up against it even now. And he's only 84 rated. There's a little bit of a, a story to be had here with a, like a discussion about the two cards and, and my expectation versus the actual the actuality of the card. So anyway... Two star skills, three star weak foot, medium medium work rates, average body type five ten. It's all pretty standard stuff. Would have been better if he had a high defensive, and of course, you know, a higher weak foot would have been welcome. But it's it's a defender. I'm not really expecting anything massive. Eighty six acceleration and sprint speed. Which, how much is that of an increase over the base? A four increase. I say the base over the eighty four. The base is obviously seventy nine. It's a massive increase over that. Do you know? What? I didn't ever remember. I don't ever remember anyone ever using the base Kunde. Never. Uh, but either way, the 84, uh, it's got uh, four better uh, pace, four better dribbling, defending, five better physical, six better passing, and four better shooting. So it is a, a literally a four better card, as you would expect, because he's four overall higher from 84 to 88. I've got a Guardian on him. It's not the chem style I would actually recommend at all. I'd probably put an Anchor on him, for example. But I don't know. I just felt like I wanted him to feel a little bit more... I don't know, just give him a little bit more balance, feel a little bit better on the ball, make his first touch that much better, try and run out from the back with him, because his passing is really nice, like his short, immediate short passing. So you can play out from the back quite nicely. And it's a, it's something that everyone does in FIFA. They play out from the back. In real world football, not every club or team play out from the back. Sometimes they'll play it up and over the top, they'll play it long, they'll knock it straight up to the strikers. Everyone in FIFA will try and pass it out from the back. No one just clears it and worries about it after. It's just one of those things. So to have someone who can naturally pass it well from the back is quite a good thing. Of course, he's getting the full chem there from the link from Mendy. Uh, Edison is off chem, but I think everyone else, apart from actually Dybala's off chem as well. Not that anyone really cares about him. But still, uh, I reviewed Kunde with this team for half of the review. And then I reviewed... Who else did I review? Uh, Jesse Lingard. Uh, so I reviewed Kunde in a team with Jesse Lingard and a team with uh, Vasquez. It was two different teams, two different days. It wasn't. It wasn't because I didn't necessarily have enough. I just didn't know how I felt about him. And then I come to the realization of why I didn't feel like this card was is was as impressive as the 84. It's not because it's not as good as the 84. Because it is. It's better. I can definitely feel that it's better. Now that I think about it anyway, I can feel that it's better. You know, the reason why this doesn't meet my expectation is because it's a card that is now rated as I would expect this card to play. All right, let me try and explain a little bit better. When the 84 came out, I don't even think it was an 84, I think it was an 82. But, um, you know, when, when the road to the final came out in general and people started using it, it was head and shoulders better than most defenders in the game. And because he was an 82 or an 84... That was obviously setting alarm bells going, wow, this card is insane for how low rated he is. He's incredible. People still use him even now. Uh, maybe not so much now because they're upgrading to the team this season. But up until recently, I was still coming up against Kunde's card in rivals in when I ever played in champs, you know, odd game here or there. He'd be in teams and I'd see him in other people's teams. People send me squads all the time on Twitter and a lot of people have road to the final Kunde in their team and no one really bats an eyelid because it's such a good card for the rating now when I came to this card he's 88 rated which means you'd expect him to be very good now he's not up there with the 90 plus rated team of the season cards that are coming out left right and center so maybe there's slight I don't know um 
not overpowered, but I think he's he's above his station. I think it's it's a better car than an eighty eight. I think he's more of a ninety ninety one. But it's not that so like so much better than what an eighty eight should be that I'm amazed by him. Does that make sense? Because I was with the eighty four because the eighty four felt like an eighty eight eighty nine rated card, and that was back months ago when there weren't that many great defenders in the game. So it was just that good, and it felt that good. This card is good. It's better than the eighty four, but there isn't that jump and that gap that made me think, wow, what a card doesn't stand out as much does a solid job playing out from the back is definitely one of his strong points massive fan of that another strong point of his is sly tackling i am very impressed with how not how good the tackling is necessarily but how long he slides for it's a little bit ridiculous at times actually you would have seen evidence of it already where he basically slid in from behind to take the ball from an attacker. Well, he was miles away from the challenge. He shouldn't have gone anywhere near it, but he just kept sliding. It was a Sol Campbell moment, and he managed to get in there and take the ball. His block tackling, stand tackling, however you want to call it, very good. Positioning is good. His strength is, is solid. There's nothing wrong with the card at all. Are there better defenders in the game? Yes, absolutely. Should he ha have had a, a higher rated card this year because if he's played really well for Sevilla in real life? Yes, in my opinion, he should have been 90 plus. However, we have this 88 rated card. On paper, you can turn him into a 95 rated centre back with an anchor. And that, in my opinion, should be good enough to keep him in your team until the end of the game. I don't really see a reason why you'd need to upgrade to a different defender unless EA, um, of course, we don't know, but unless EA do something crazy throughout the summer where we are, you know, being met with 98 99 rated cards then of course you might need to look at it and reassess the situation but for, for now at least and for the rest of the team of the season this card is going to be more than good enough especially with an anchor chem style a 95 rated center back for what is a steal around 150k that is a very very cheap defender you know the foot birthday homoso for example I'm not sure how much he's worth now but when that card came out and it wasn't even that long ago that was well above 200k and i don't think he's as good as kunde is so there's i mean there's plenty of other cards it was just the first one that came to mind but yeah banging card not as impactful if you will as the road to the final card but still a very good card. In terms of weaknesses, just wish he had a better defensive work rate so he would get back a little bit more every time I sort of dragged him forward to make a pass. I was playing five at the back and he was the central defender within that back five. So he was the one, I would not dictate in play, but he was the one intercepting most of the passes and then bringing the ball out from the back, looking to get the team going again. So he plays it out. And, and of course, then we look to sort of move it up from the midfield and such. And then him not having a high defensive work rate means he's a little bit slow to get back. So if he does end up misplacing a pass or we lose the ball in the turnover, we are then all of a sudden a man sort of semi out of position because he's not getting back quick enough. That it's, it's such a pathetic little argument to have. It's not even worth mentioning really, but there it is. Let me know what you think of this card in the comments. I liked it. I'll probably keep him in my team for the foreseeable. If you have enjoyed this play review, Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for new, and until the next time, goodbye.